Data innovations from Typhoon and Gustifoli Fiber to promote our top products in community enterprise. Present by Nawawan Dongsi, Sirina Sengkajang. Advisor, Natha Sonlaunit. Princess Durapon Sain High School, Pisirunluk. The concept of this innovation is the growth of the Typhoon and Gustifoli L, which grows well in the wetlands, which means that the geography characteristics of Thailand are conducive to growth. It negatively affects the river that spoils the river and make it home of the poisonous animals. But we discovered that there is a lot of the cellulose, which is beneficial for making fibers. Therefore, we have an idea to use the Typhoon Angus defolia to make fibers to make fabric products that generate income for the community. The first important step prior to the study was the preparation of Typha and Gustifolia L by cutting it to the length of 60 cm, then ironing the fibers with the fiber extrusion machine, and finally by using pineapple juice fermentation that is the natural method. And we will have the Typha and Gustifolia L fibers to study at the next step. Step 1. Study about chemical and mechanical properties of the fiber from Typha and Gustifolia L, ferment with the pineapple juice. We did the property test by FTIR and atomic absorption spectrometer method. Find the heavy metals and hazardous substances. Besides, there are lignin, cellulose, ash, and hemicellulose. Also, the cellulose and hemicellulose in Typha and Gustifolia L is less than the carbon, but we found a lot of functional groups of cellulose that show there are cellulose enough to make the products. Later, from the study of the mechanical properties and fiber size, it was found that both fiber size, specific gravity, hardness, and the elongation is much higher than all cotton fibers, but in terms of range, they are similar. But the lens is not have much effect on the weaving in products design. The next one, water absorption. Water absorption increased 20 percentage per three hours. Look from increasing fiber width. That is mean good at absorb equal to loss of cellulose. Continuing to study the morphologies of fibers and cross sectional areas. We found that the fibers of the typha and gustifolia were average in the first arrangement, and there was a deficiency of the fibers that have in water and air transfer from cotton fibers with low porosity and thick stack fibers. Step 2 The optimum ratio between typha and gustifolia L and cotton fiber. We mix the typha and gustifolia L and cotton at the ratio of 30. For the result, Haifa and Gustifolia L and cotton fiber 50 to 30 is the most dense and modulate elongation. And we found the Typha and Gustifolia L also cause of the lab texture. The next is development of woven fabrics from the fibers of the Typha and Gustifolia and the suitability of weaving fabrics used to make clothing. When we take the fabrics from the finished weaving and compare it with the clothing marking standard, it will find that we don't meet the criteria for the percentage of elongation, water absorption, and hair plus surface on the cloth. It means that we cannot use the fabric from the Typha and Gustifolia fiber to make a standard garment. Therefore, we have brought it to be a substitute for a textile product innovation. And then when we design and produce the products and we evaluate them, we will find that they are in accordance with market demand, as well as their usability and suitability satisfaction are good average. That means the satisfaction criteria of the following six criteria are good average. Therefore, this work or textile products has a high level of satisfaction and success. Lastly, textile product from Typha and Gustifolia L fabric. It's easy to use, everyone can use, marketable, and is a gain product. It's very unique and affordable. And it also promotes the income of the community and reduces environmental problems. Thank you for attention. Bye-bye.